scene. We have uh, who's on first, what's on second, I don't know who's on third. That's what I want to find out. I want you to tell me the names of the fellas on the St. Louis I'm, team. I'm telling you, who's on first, what's on second, I don't know who's on third. Do you know the fellas' names? Yes. Well, then who's playing first? Yes. I mean the fellow's name on first base. Who? The fellow playing first base for St. Louis. Who? The guy on first base. Who is on first? Well, what are you asking me for? I'm not asking you. I'm telling you who is on first. I'm asking you who's on first. That's the man's name. That's whose name? Yes. Well, go ahead and tell me. Who? The guy on first. Who? The first base. Who is on first? Have you got a first baseman on first? Certainly. Then, then who's playing first? Absolutely. When you pay off the first baseman every month, who gets the money? Every dollar of it. Why not? The man's entitled to it. Who is? Yes. So who gets it? Why shouldn't he? Sometimes his wife comes down and collects it. Who's wife? Yes. <laughs> After all, the man earns it. Who does? Absolutely. Well, all I'm trying to find out is what's the guy's name on first base? Oh, no, no, no. What is on second base? I'm not asking you who's on second. Who's on first? That's what I'm trying to find out. Well, don't change the players. I'm about. not changing nobody. Take it easy. What's the guy's name on first base? What's the guy's name on second base? I am not asking you who's on second. Who's on first? I don't know. He's on third. We're not talking about him. Hello, I'm Lois Carrier, fee-only certified financial planner. And the clip you just witnessed is one of my all-time favorites. I cannot not listen to that without laughing like crazy. And today we're going to talk about who's who in the financial planning world, because nobody knows that there's differences in financial planners, or if they do know that there's differences in financial planners, they still get confused. So we get questions all the time. So what's the difference about you and the other person I talked to? So not to put anybody down, just explain the different uh, stories, I'm going to tell you my personal story. So I decided that I wanted to become a financial planner, all of you women out there, because the two I had had were male as males, and I never understood what they told me. It was like they were speaking a different language. So I decided I wanted to become a financial planner and learn all of this stuff and use that to help especially women. Well, I, I was hired by a, an insurance company to be a financial planner. So the first thing I had to do was to get my Series 7, my Series six a series 24 I had all these licenses and so I got those it didn't take me about six months to get them all and I went in and they told me okay we have an appointment for you this coming Friday uh, you're gonna sit down with a retiring couple and tell them what to do and I looked at them and said but I don't know anything I, I mean I, I know investments but I don't I, I, I'm not a financial planner I said oh yeah you'll be fine we're gonna tell you what to sell them and you just sell them and it felt really bad to me, so I thought about it, and I thought, well, what, what, what do I tell them I am? Oh, well, you, that's easy. You can call yourself a financial planner. You can call yourself an investment advisor, a wealth manager, and they gave me all these names that I could call myself. And then they said to this Irish woman, however, you can't call yourself a certified financial planner. That's the only thing you can't call yourself. And I said, well, why not? And they said, well, because it takes two to three years to get that designation and we don't have time for you to do that, we need you selling. I was enrolled in that program the very next month. Three years later, I became a certified financial planner. The certified financial planner designation is the most highly recognized designation in the nation. And it means that the person you're talking to has been well trained in estate planning, tax planning, investment management, retirement planning, college planning, everything that you need to, them to be able to do, they're trained in that. So what about all the others that I was talking about that I was one of? Well, who's on first? Okay, there are now 615,000 people who were like me working for the insurance company. They work for banks, insurance companies, and brokerages. And they're calling themselves financial planners, financial advisors, wealth managers, all those names. So that, that's fine. All you need to know is that they're working for a company and they are not certified financial planners. Now then, how many certified financial planners are there in the country? Well, that number gets a lot smaller. There's only 86,000 people who have taken the time to become certified financial planners. Now, if you think of the difference in an accountant and a CPA, that's the difference. Uh, the certified financial planner has been highly trained in all the areas that you might need help in in your financial journey as you go from starting to save all the way through retirement into estate planning and tax planning. And then how many fee only? Wait a minute, fee only, what does that mean? Fee only means that if that person, the person you're talking to, is not attached to a brokerage, a bank, or an insurance company. So they're 100% totally independent. They're not fee-based. 
they're fee only. And that means that as fee only, we are fiduciaries. See, what I didn't realize was when I was a broker, calling myself all those other names, and even when I was a certified financial planner, when I worked for one of those companies, I was never a fiduciary. And what is a fiduciary? If you work with me and I'm not fee only, you will sign a disclaimer that says you will not ever sue me, but you will go to arbitration against me if I harm you. Well, most people, and I certainly didn't know that that's what that meant until I needed it at one point in my own financial life. So fiduciary means that we are taking full responsibility for what we tell you to do. There's no company, no one else telling us what to do. No one is between us and you. It's just a fiduciary relationship where by law, we are required to do what's in your best interest. And if we make a mistake and harm you, you can sue us. So how many people are certified financial planners and fee only? There are 615,000 people who are working for brokerages, banks, or insurance companies, calling themselves all those names I just talked about. And some of them may be certified financial planners. Now, if you're just looking for certified financial planners, there's just 86,000 in the country. And how many of those are fee only? Less than 6,000. So looking for a fee only certified financial planner is like trying to find a needle in a haystack, or I got tongue twisted one time and said a hadle in a knee stack. So I just wanted you to know today that who's who on first base is just absolutely hysterical, but it's not that funny when you don't know who to look for for a, for a financial planner. So hopefully this has been educational and will help and will help you in your search. And also you can Google each of these and learn a whole lot on your own. Again, I'm Lois Carrier, Fee Only Certified Financial Planner. Thank you for tuning in and remember, Who's on first? Have a good week.